Hey guys, I just wanted to make an extremely short video here real quick. Uh, I just wanted to do a little test on uh, the 3930K on the Asus Rampage 4 Extreme Motherboard at uh, stock clocks versus an overclock with C1 step uh, stayed on. So basically it'll down clock at 0% uh, you know, usage on the CPU, it'll down clock the megahertz but it won't down clock the voltage so the voltage would stay the same. So I took string, uh, screenshots here. So basically the first screenshot we got here, I'll show you guys. I wrote a little note here. It says, you know, stock clocks, ambient temp was 25C and C1 state is on. And you can see here a screenshot, uh, CPU Z. Uh, you can see, this is stock again. The voltage was, if it gets focused, was uh, 0.96 volts at 3.2 gigahertz and the core speed was 1.2 gigahertz so that's that and here you could see the temperatures of all the cores in the package so you could see the lowest temps I got there 34, 34, 37, 34, 34, 28 and 37 for the package which don't even look at that so that gives me an average of 33.5 okay here on this on the screenshot here, wrote a little note, ambient temp 25C, 4.6 gigahertz OC, and the voltage was set at 1.355 volts, set in the BIOS with C1 state on. And you can see here the voltage that CPU Z reads is 1.36 volts. And it says there 3.2 gigahertz, but it is 4.6. And as I took that screenshot, it went up to 2.99.99 uh, megahertz, but it was at uh, 1.2 gigahertz, so 1200 megahertz. So you can see that, and you can see the temps were 36, 36, 39, 36, 37, 30, uh, with a package of 38, but again, don't look at that. And that gave me an average across all cores of 35.66 at idle. So the, the computer was when I set these, when I got these screenshots, was set at idle for about 15 minutes, and so basically, I got a difference between the two. Uh, at the at the overclock, it was 2.166 uh, degrees warmer. I would consider that uh, within the margin of error. So, you know, to me, it's not. It is a difference, but not a substantial difference whatsoever in my eyes. So. As you can see, with the C1 state on and all that stuff, you know, that stuff that uh, down clocks it, uh, it keeps the idle temps the, basically the same as on stock clocks. So it's not running any warmer at idle whatsoever. Um, so yeah, it's weird. Oh, one more thing to note. One more thing to note. This screenshot over here that we're seeing is a stock clock one, and you can see uh, the wattage being used on the CPU. On the package, it was uh, the lowest was 23.85 watts, and on the IA cores, which I don't know what that is, was 7.61 watts. And over here in this screenshot with the overclock, it was 20.28 and 4.14, which is lower watts. Hmm, I don't get that. Maybe you guys could let me know about that. <laughs> I don't know. So, just wanted to make this uh, short video. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, maybe I could do some changes. Give you, uh, maybe uh, you guys could give me some uh, suggestions, any questions, comments, or concerns. Please uh, leave it in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up if you like it. Favorite the video if you'd like. And please subscribe.